Hi guys, I'm Phil O'Neill from Australia and I hope you're having a fantastic day. I've seen a lot of questions recently about endurance and how to improve endurance on the trumpet. There's a good lot of information out there. There's also a few little bad things or things that I disagree with out there in terms of endurance and how to improve it. But we've been working on endurance over in my membership and my members area. So feel free to go and check that out if you want to know more and get the most specific kind of details. It's one of the goals that we've set. Um, we set weekly goals in the membership, so it's really, really useful. I'll leave a link in the description to that. But one of the things that I wanted to show you on what we work on is improving endurance. And there's a few steps part of this process. Now, one of the steps, which is probably one of the most important that we often forget about, is playing in tune. If you can play in tune all of the time, your endurance will improve so much. So much. It's very, very important that we play in tune because if you're not playing in tune, you don't actually have the strength to play for a long time and you're actually fighting the instrument rather than playing where the instrument wants. So it's not being efficient. Now, one of my favorite ways to improve on my intonation is by doing mouthpiece buzzing and using drones. Now, if anyone's been following me for a while, you would have seen that I've done videos on drones before and how I use it. But essentially, I use the mouthpiece to start because there's no, there's no dud notes on a mouthpiece. Like for example, like you're playing the trumpet, D, low D, or D1 and 3, the note's sharp, so we have to extend our third valve slide. D above the, uh, in the stave is usually flat, so we have to manipulate the trumpet to come up. So that's why I like using the mouthpiece to start, because there's no dud notes on the mouthpiece. If anyone else has been following me, you also know that I like using this little bad boy, which is the up sound. I've done plenty of videos on that, so you can go and check that out in other videos, either on my Facebook channel or on my YouTube channel. There's, they're everywhere. But I like to do my mouthpiece by then with my up sound. I'll also leave a link in the, in the description if you wanna check out the up sound. The third thing that I use, which is, this one's actually very important. So you need your mouthpiece is a, a must have. The up sounds just a nice to have. But the tuner, I use a tuner called, a tuner app on my tablet. It's also on my phone. It's called Tonal Energy. It looks like this. It's a really, really good app. And I strongly recommend spending the, the few dollars to use it on a daily basis. It's a really, really fantastic app. I've done plenty of videos on that as well. But when you're using this, I go into the sound section. So if you look at the bottom of the page, there's a tab, you know, there's a tuner section, go to the sound section. Then we go grab your mouthpiece out and grab out your mouthpiece exercise. So I, I'm gonna use one of my mouthpiece exercises that I do as part of a warm up. It's part of my membership if you wanna check that out as well. It's based loosely on the Chinkowitz kind of flow studies, but it works really well on the mouthpiece. Then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure the sustain is checked if you're on an Android device. Um, I think it's on the Apple devices as well. Choose your starting note. So in this case, I'm gonna start on a G. I'm then gonna select my G and that's gonna play my G drone. Then I'm gonna bars my mouthpiece exercise on the mouthpiece, making sure that all of my notes are in tune and the sound on the mouthpiece is good and consistent. Once I've done that on the mouthpiece, and I've done a bit of buzzing on the mouthpiece, and I've been really diligent with playing in tune, then I go on to the trumpet.
So this is how I work with my members on, on improving tuning. Now this is just one of the weekly goals that we set. So this week we're gonna go, we're gonna set our goal and our overall goal for this week is to improve our tuning. So if we go, right, I really wanna make sure that my first G is really in tune and then get that today, then tomorrow add the next note. So you wanna go to the F sharp or fry and take up to the C or whatever notes you wanna make sure are definitely in tune. Set the small goals so that at the end of the week, you've got the whole process good to go and you're playing in tune for the whole the exercise that you're buzzing. And then make sure that you're doing that on the trumpet. This will improve your endurance quite quickly. It's one of the fastest ways I've found to improve endurance and it's something that all of my members have been benefiting from. This is one of the weekly goals that my members have worked on and they've found it very beneficial in the past and they've found that it's really improved their endurance in the space of just one week of spending two or three minutes a day concentrating on this. I'll come back in another video and I'll do another video on how we improve endurance as well, which will be another, another weekly goal that we've set in the past as well and it can really help you guys out as well. If you want to check out how we improve our trumpet playing as part of the members, I've got a free PDF that you guys can check out and it shows you how we structure our daily practice so that we improve all of our playing over the space of a week uh, and really push ourselves to the limits. And you can download that free guide, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out and you can practice along and suss it out yourself. Give this a go at home, set your drone going, get your mouthpiece out and buzz on your mouthpiece in tune and then play it on your trumpet in tune. Give it a go for a week, just two or three minutes a day, and you'll notice by the end of the week, you should have more endurance to get you through. But keep working on it, keep it as part of your daily ritual sort of thing, so that over the space of one week, you'll improve a little bit, over the space of a month, you'll improve a fair bit more, over the space of a year, you'll improve quite a lot. So it's all about those little one percenters that you do every day that improve the overall playing, but it's a slow process and it's one that we don't want to talk about because it's a slow process. But it really, really works and all of my members have been working on it and all of them say that it has improved their playing and their endurance quite a lot. I'm Phil O'Neill from Australia and happy practicing.